tower, Jesus, my strength this hour, Jesus, you're my deliverer, yes, you are, Jesus. The goodness of Jesus. I'm Vivian Brown. Thank you so very much for joining us today. I am so very, very happy that God is using me to deliver his message to you again. I was originally working on another word, but God changed it. And I have been working on this particular message for several weeks. This message is not normally the type of message God delivers through me, but today is an exception. So I pray that this message reaches the right people, touches the right people, and changes the right people. Because there is a battle being waged over our souls as I speak. So we must put on the whole armor of God so that we may be able to stand against the schemes of Satan. A while ago, because I heard so many prophets speaking God's word, I decided to seek God myself for what's coming. At one point, he began waking me up in the middle of the night to show me visions of what's to come. Please believe me when I say you must get your life right with Jesus because according to what he is showing me in these visions and dreams, the devastation that's coming to America is real. Now, there are those of you that already know about this upcoming judgment because you have been watching things unfold in this country and you have been seeking God for yourself. But there are those of you that honestly don't have a clue and have been living your life as if it's business as usual. Please seek God for yourself. I urge you to get your life right. I pray that you wake up before it's too late. There is a real reason God gave me a sense of urgency in putting forth this message for him. Now, because I have been seeking him for this information, there are certain days where my spirit is so burdened down with what feels like a very small portion of the evil that's being provoked in this world. It feels like darkness, um, sadness, pain, all rolled up in one. My spirit feels a sense of urgency that desperately needs to take place. At this point, my flesh wants to get out, but somehow my spirit freezes any actions of my flesh. I am then led to start praying until my spirit releases me. When you ask God to allow you to see what is coming, you better be ready for what you will receive. Whether you believe it or not, America is in trouble. This is God's message for today. Amos 3, 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret counsel to his servants, the prophets. Well, several of God's prophets are sounding the alarm right now, but we go on eating, drinking, and feeding the flesh. We have gotten to the point as Christians where we don't believe prophetic word anymore. I believe we have come across too many false prophets. So how do we know if uh, we are dealing with one of God's own? Well, let's simply go to God's word. Let's look at 1 John 4, 1 through 3. It reads, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this, you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming 
and now is in the world already. All I can say is, please test the spirit. Because what happens when in 2 Chronicles 36, 15, and 16, where the Lord, the God of their fathers, sent word to them again and again by his messengers because he had compassion on his people and on their dwelling place. But they continually mocked the messengers of God, despised his words, and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of God arose against his people, until there was no remedy. So I must ask the question, what happens when God is trying to warn us through his prophets and others today and we do not believe in them? What happens to his people when they don't believe that great destruction is coming to the United States of America? What happens when they don't believe that America really is in trouble? Take a look at Ezekiel 7.27. I will bring on them the evil they have done to others, and they will receive the punishment they so richly deserve. Then they will know that I am the Lord. My God, God is very clear throughout his word that he deals with nations according to how they honor or refuse to honor him. If a nation turns its back on God, its judgment is unavoidable unless the people of that nation repent and make him Lord once again. Take a look at 2 Chronicles 7, 14. It reads, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. God's words make me kind of nervous for this country because of, as of right now, America looks like she has no intention of turning away from sin, but sinking deeper into it. And if we stay on the track that we're on, mm, according to Isaiah 4.1, how horrible it will be for a nation that sins. Saints, my God, the United States of America is in trouble. There is no other way to put it, for she doesn't seem to understand the consequences of her sins. Right now, we boldly declare things to be good, even though the word of God declare it to be evil and completely out of order. You do not violate the word of God without consequences. America does not seem to understand the consequences of morally and spiritually living in darkness. America does not seem to understand the consequences of legalizing gay marriage in this country. So why is it that some people strongly believe that God created two men to be together or even two women to be together, even though their bodies are not compatible? Well, let's take a look at Romans 1. 24 through 27. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worshiped and served the things God created instead of the creator himself who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. 
and the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burned with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserved. America does not seem to understand the consequence of indoctrinating our children in the public schools to believe that homosexuality is a morally acceptable lifestyle. My God, America does not seem to understand the consequences of the spilled blood of the innocent unborn crying out from the ground. America does not seem to understand the consequences of kicking God out of the public school systems and replacing Christianity with the false religion of evolutionism. In other words, trying to turn God's children against him. America does not seem to understand the consequences of mocking God with Goddess Kali put up in New York, better known as the Dark Mother or Goddess of Destruction. What? My God, satanic statue of Baphomet put up in Detroit, which is the name of a false god and is associated with Satanism. My God, America doesn't seem to understand the consequences of electing government officials, then turning a blind eye to the many anti-Christian activities they are putting forth. America doesn't seem to understand the consequences of our society becoming so captivated by the pleasures of this world until God's words no longer matter. America doesn't seem to understand the consequences of having a city that is so evil until the official logo of their chamber of commerce is Sin City. Las Vegas pulls tens of millions of people annually just to pleasure themselves with sexual sin, gambling, and boogs. Please understand that what happens in Vegas really don't just stay in Vegas, but is recorded in heaven. America doesn't seem to understand the consequences of a pastor being placed in a position on a large platform to speak boldly for God against the sins of this country, but instead use this platform for their own benefit. America does not seem to understand the consequences of premarital sex, lack of disciplining our children, racism, murder, greed, and the list goes on. Please hear God's words. He's not playing with us. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexual immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. If we don't repent and turn away from our sins. For America is just not enough to sin. But we have so much pride in our sin nowadays until we must make sure it reaches the throne of God by way of celebrating the victory of sin. What? Do we believe because God seems to be solid right now that he no longer exists? How boldly we have become in America. Yes, our sins have reached the throne of God. Now we wait on God's response. Stay tuned for part two. Until next time, get to know the man they call Jesus and be blessed.